Yeah. Can you tell me the question, Mirzila? The first one. Ma'am, uh, ma'am, first question is x cube minus two x square minus x plus two. Okay. So, uh, the first thing that we saw, uh, we we said the first step is going to be. The first step is going to be what? Mirzila, what was our first step? Yes, do you remember? We did a Sorry, trial. Ahead. Yeah, we what we did was we we took this number over here, okay, and we did a trial and error method, and we listed down all of its factors and one by one. If you remember, plus minus one, or let me let me write it like this. We did one, and then minus one, two, and then minus two. Do you remember? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So, oh wait, I just I didn't switch off my video. Yeah. So then we we first picked one and we put it in place of x. And when we did that, we saw that this p of x was coming out to be zero. So basically, p of one is equal to zero. So we said that x minus one is a factor, right? We did it till here. Do you remember this? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um. Just a minute. Yeah. So then we said, okay, let's divide this. We said, if x minus one is a is one factor. Then we can find out the other two factors by dividing. So let's divide it now. X cube minus two x squared minus x plus two. Uh, I hope you do it simultaneously, Mridula. Please um, do it simultaneously. So then, okay. So what should I write here, Mridula? Ma'am, x squared. x squared okay and now i did come no, no, yeah. did, did the division method but uh, there is a remainder too so i am confused that means there was it was wrong somewhere all right so there there must be a mistake somewhere so let's let's do it together and see what we um come up with so this becomes minus x squared or just to say if i put one here one minus two minus one plus two Yeah, so p of one is equal to this, all right. Um, then this gets cancelled. Minus two plus one. What is minus two plus one? It's minus one, right? Then, uh, are you following up till here, Mirzala? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Then minus x. This becomes minus x squared, and this becomes plus x. And yeah, that's it. So. We change the sign minus x minus x that becomes minus two x and then plus two, and here we can multiply x by minus two, then that becomes minus two x. So if I say minus two, so this thing becomes minus two x, and this term on multiplication with minus two will give me plus two. So do you see your mistake now, Mrithula? Yes, ma'am. Ah, uh, there's a sign mistake. Yeah. Okay. So that's why we need a lot of practice when it comes to this, so that ah, uh, you know, we will get used to the sign changing and all that. Okay. So what I can say is, well, I can say that x cube minus two x square minus x plus two, this thing is equal to ah uh, x. Minus one multiplied by x squared minus x minus two. So when we do this, now we need to factorize it further. Okay. We need to factorize this further. How can I factorize x square minus x minus two? Let's do it somewhere else. Remember, slip splitting method. Yeah. 
we split the middle term and this becomes minus two. What do we do here so that we can get minus one? Right, minus two and one. So we can say x squared plus x minus two x minus two. Is this right, Mridula? Yes, ma'am. Hamna, are you there? So we take x common here. Yeah, Hamna. Have you yes, solved uh, these two questions? No, the two questions that were there. I forgot it. Uh, because my uh, my offline classes have started, so I was kind of busy. Okay. Okay. Uh, I forgot to ask you guys. Where do you guys stay? Hamna, where do you live? Ma'am, in Saudi Arabia, Riyadh. Okay. Okay, Riyadh. And Rudula? Ma'am, in India, Uttarakhand. Uttarakhand, okay. All right, so um, let's take X common here. And then we are left over here, we are left with one. And then we take minus two common here, we are left with X plus one. And this becomes X plus one multiplied by X minus two. So this thing, we factorized it further into these two things, okay? So now I can say that my this big polynomial, my cubic polynomial, can be factorized as x minus 1, x plus 1, and x minus 2. Clear? Yes, ma'am. So let me know uh, when you have done this question, both of you, so that I can move forward. I'm done. Okay, Hamna, what about you? Done, ma'am. Okay, thank you for letting me know. And what was the second question? Will someone please dictate it? Ma'am, x cube minus 3x square minus 9x minus 5. Okay, so now we take this minus 5. All right, and we have to factorize. It. I'm sorry, we have to uh, list down its factors. So um, I have my minus five over here, and its factors are what? Plus one, minus one, like you guys and said in the previous plus class. Five and yes. minus five. Very good. Okay, so these are the factors of minus five. So let's take them one by one. Let's first take plus one. So uh, Hamna, can you tell me if I put plus one in place of x? Will I get zero? So we don't have to sit and solve the whole thing. Why? No, ma'am. We, uh, we are not we getting get zero. zero. That's right, Madhula. Why? Because, uh, you know, you don't even have to sit and solve the whole thing. You can see that there's just one positive number over here, which is one, right? And the rest of them are negative. And the negative, like, like even without solving, you can tell that the negative is going to be a lot, right? So what is this going to be? It's going to be one minus... Um, 17. So you don't have to solve it even without that. You can just say that, well, the positives and the negatives are not balancing out. They're not anywhere near balancing out. So we don't even have to solve it. We can just say that, you know, this is not equal to zero. So let's try minus one. Okay. Hamna, will you tell me if this is P of minus one is coming out to be zero or not? Yes, ma'am, it's a zero. It's a zero? Okay. Yeah, it is. Why? Because we see this is minus three, minus one, minus five. That is minus nine. 
right? So this is minus nine, and over here this is plus nine. So this is equal to zero. All right. So congratulations, we found one of our factors. And what is the factor of this polynomial? Which factor have we just found out? M x plus one. Very good. Excellent. So that's because this a over here is equal to minus one. So x minus a will be x plus one. This is a factor. So if this is one of the factors, then we can find the other two factors by which method? Ma'am, long division method. Yes, that's right. So let's write this down. X cubed minus 3x squared minus 9x minus 5 and x plus 1. Chalo, let's do it together now. If you guys are getting stuck at any point or getting confused at any point, just ask, okay? And I hope you guys are not simply copying from the screen. You're solving, solving this on your own as well. I'm just doing it on the screen so that just in case you get stuck, you can refer to the screen. I'm done. Done, okay. Hamna? Yes, done, ma'am. Okay. So, what are the factors now? Let's um, do it with this minus five. It will be what? What should I write here and here? Can I write minus five and one? Yes, ma'am. Hmm. So you guys need to answer. The answer should be coming from you, not from me. Okay, I should do the questioning. You guys do the answering. All right. Okay, so x squared. Now we can write it as plus x minus five x minus five. And then we can take x common here, x plus one. Minus five common here, x plus one is remaining. So we have x minus 5 multiplied by x plus 1. So now what are the three factors? Mom, x plus 1, x minus 5, and x plus 1. Yeah. So can I write this as x plus 1 whole squared multiplied by x minus 5? Can I write it like this? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So if this is clear, we can move forward. Let me know. Yes, ma'am, it's clear. Okay. Now let's do another question. Um, yeah. X cubed plus 13 X squared plus 32 X plus 20. So let's do it together again. So 20. Hamna, tell me all the factors that I should write of 20. Hamna, can you hear me? Okay. 
okay mridula can you tell me the factors of 20 what should i write here um first um uh, first factor of 20 is 1 hmm plus 1 uh, minus 1 then um, second is plus 2 and minus 2 yes then third is plus 4 and minus 4 hmm very good then fourth is uh, plus 5 and minus 5 Mom, fifth is plus plus ten and minus ten. Yeah. Mom's uh, mom six six plus twenty and minus twenty. All right. So let's just pray that we don't have to do trial and error for all the big numbers. Let's just hope that it gets solved in the beginning itself. So let's try with plus one. Do you guys think? uh if we just without solving without solving tell me if i put plus 1 do you think i am ever going to get a zero no ma'am no why not because there is no minus over here it is all going to be positive 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 there is not going to be any negative to cancel it out and you know make it zero so plus 1 is not going to be an option in fact none of these will be an option why because we don't have a single negative sign here to make any of the terms negative so well at least half of the options are out for us now let's try with minus 1 p so what am i going to do so my p of minus 1 i just put minus 1 in place of x and i got this so i'm first going to solve the negatives together and that's going to be minus 1 minus 32 is minus 33 no minus 30 yeah right and then plus 13 plus 20 is plus 33 ma'am they are ma'am they both get cancelled yes they both get cancelled and i'm left with zero so i can say that what is a factor now mam my mam x plus 1 very good x plus 1 is a factor okay so let's do the long division Let me know when you're done. I'm done. Okay. Ham na, what about you? Ham na. So, Mridula, can you further factorize that quadratic polynomial? Ma'am. Uh, Sorry. Ha? Huh? Yes, Mridula. Uh, Ma'am, x cube plus x squared. How? How is it? How can it be x cube? Acha, you're talking about this, right? Right. Yes. Uh, I I am asking you, Mridula, can you like you've gotten this? polynomial right have you gotten yes. it yes yeah. so can you further factorize it and then i'll ask you what it is okay ham now what about you
yes mridula can you tell me you will split the middle term into what two terms which two terms will you split it into mridula what should i write here and here over here and over here come on we've done a lot of practice for this um to Yes. Very good. Two and ten. So I can write this as x squared plus two x plus ten x plus twenty. Ah, uh, Hamna, ah, uh, can you hear me? Am I audible to you? Okay, I think something's wrong on Hamna's side. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So Hamna, um, is this clear for you till here? Is there any doubt? No, ma'am, no doubt. It's clear. Okay. Then, can you tell me what will the further factors be, Hamna? Hamna, have you factorized it further? Let's see. Let me know if you've gotten the same answer, and then we can move on. If there's any doubt, ask, please. done shall we move yes ma'am okay all right so i'm just going to take one more question just a minute let me search for a good question <clears throat> um okay so let's do one thing let's move on to the next topic because i think we have got plenty of uh you know practice in solving this and i'll be giving you guys some questions and if there are any doubts in that then we can take a look at that so all right now do you guys remember algebraic identities from your previous lesson sorry from your previous grades Yes, ma'am. I did. Okay. Can you name a few? Can you name a few? Madhula, do you remember? What identities do you guys remember? Come now. Okay, let me ask. What is a plus b whole squared? Ma'am, a squared. Ma'am, a squared yes. plus two ab plus b squared. What is a minus b whole squared? come on it's very easy stuff you guys did it last year i guess or maybe the year before that 
Ma'am, a square minus two b plus b square. Yes, that's right. Okay. And what about what is a minus b multiplied by a plus b? Ma'am, a square mm -hmm. minus b square. That's right. And what about if I write? Let's say I have x plus a. Okay, and I have x plus b, so I have one variable which is the same, and the other two are different. So what is this going to be? Do you guys remember? Ma'am, x yes. square plus a plus b into x plus a b. Very good. Yes, ma'am. That's right. So, um. This, these are the ones that you must have done in your previous, uh, in your previous class. So let's let's just do quickly a few questions based on these. Okay. How about x minus three multiplied by x plus five? What can I write this as? Which which identity are we going to use? Ma'am, uh, ma'am, x plus a both identity. Yes, four two. So can I write this as x squared plus, and then my a is minus three and b is plus five. So minus three plus five x plus, and my a b is minus three multiplied by five. Is it correct? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So this gives me x squared plus two x minus fifty. All right. Now let's do another one. Can you solve one zero five multiplied by one zero six without actually doing the multiplication using any of these four identities? How do we solve it? Can someone tell me? Um, we use here uh, for the for the identity. Okay. What will we write? Uh, ma'am, we can also write one hundred five as one hundred plus five, and one hundred and six as one hundred plus six. Okay. Very good. Then we use this identity. What do I write next? Ma'am, um, hundred square plus. Hmm. Ma'am. Yes. Ma'am, hundred square plus five into five five plus six multiplied by hundred. Five plus six multiplied by one hundred. Very good. Okay. Then ma'am plus five into six. Plus five into six. Okay. So this leaves me with. One, two, three, four zeros, and five plus six is eleven. So eleven multiplied by one hundred, and plus twenty-one. Sorry, thirty-six. Five six are thirty. I'm sorry, thirty. What am I saying? Five six are thirty. Okay. So what am I left with here? One, 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 three zero. Is this right? Yes, ma'am. Okay, let me just like verify it in a calculator. One zero five multiplied by one zero six. Okay, one 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 three zero. All right. Now let's do another one. Um, yeah. So now you have to factorize this forty nine a squared plus seventy a b plus. Twenty-five b squared. Now you have to think about this a little bit. Ma'am, second identity. 
second identity and that was a minus b whole square so how did you figure that out one sec second identity was a minus b whole square so let's do we one thing first identity okay let's do one thing let's first think about it what can i write this as i can write this as 7a whole square right yes or no yes ma'am yeah then let's leave this blank for a little while and i can write this as 5b whole square so now it turns out that my 7a if i can write it as if my 7a is x and my 5b i write it as y then i can see that it is forming a pattern x square plus something plus y squared and i can write this as 2 multiplied by 7a multiplied by 5b right so this becomes my 2 times x times y so as you said rudra it's going to be the first identity so after factorizing what will it become Then seven a plus five b whole square. Yes, seven a plus five b whole square. How much is it clear? Okay, yeah, ma'am. Okay. Um, let's take another one. Twenty five by four x squared minus y squared by nine. what will we apply over here okay let's see this yeah which one does it look like and second one no not the second one and third one yes third one see because you have this is of the form a squared minus b squared how how is it of that form because you can say that your a okay just a sec let me write this as 5 by 2 x whole squared minus y by 3 Whole squared. So this becomes my a. So it's a squared minus b squared. My a is five by two x and b is y by y by three. So a squared minus b squared is what is it? Ma'am, a plus b a minus b. Yeah. So what should I write now? Mum, five by two x plus y plus y by three. Yes. Ah, uh, mum, multiplied by ah uh, five by two x minus y by three. Okay. All right. Let's move on to the next one. Or let's do one thing. Let's start with um some new identities. Okay. We're gonna see some new identities today. so just like we have x plus y whole squared is equal to x squared plus um you can say y squared plus 2xy i just interchanged the terms so if i have this then you can you can just expand this idea expand this concept to x plus y plus z like now you have three variables and you are squaring them okay So, what do you think this is going to be? Any idea? See, it's very easy to remember. Okay, it's just going to be x squared plus y squared plus. Now we have a third variable, so z squared plus. Over here we had two x y, so we have plus two x y. Yeah, so plus two x y plus two um y z. Plus two z x. 
Is it clear? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, yes, it's very easy to remember, right? It's very easy to remember. So similarly, um, we can. Okay, so this is one. And if you have like a negative number, you can just replace that. For example, let's do one. Uh, let's let me just take the question. Okay, expand. So the question is, expand four a minus two b. Minus three c whole squared. Expand this. So, what should I write first? Ma'am, four a square. Four a whole squared. Okay. Then plus minus two b whole squared. Then next. Ma'am, minus three c. Okay. Next, Hamna, would you like to tell? What should I write now? Ma'am, two into four a into yes minus two b plus very good then plus two into minus two b hmm. into minus three c hmm. plus two into minus three c into four hmm. a. Okay, very good. So now let's um solve these together. We have sixteen a squared, and this becomes positive because it's squared. So plus four b squared, and plus nine b squared. Now, what do I write here? Who's going to tell me? Over here. Minus, right. minus, 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 sixteen. Minus sixteen AB. Very good. Then plus twelve BC. Twelve BC. Then minus twenty four AC. Minus twenty four AC. Excellent. Okay. So this is what we have, and the thing is, we can't simplify it further because no terms are cancelling. So this is the answer. Okay. Um. Now. Now let's do a slightly different one. So this is this was our question number one. Let's do second question. Um, just a sec. Yeah. So the question is, you have to factorize four x squared plus y squared plus z squared minus four x y minus Two y z plus four x z. Yeah. Hmm. What should I write? Um, four x plus. Hamna, would you like to give it a try? Ma'am, two x square plus minus y square. Plus z square. Very good. Minus y squared plus z squared. Hmm. Plus two into two x into minus y. Very good. Yes. Plus two into minus y into z. Yes. Then plus two into two x into z. Right. So we see that what are our terms? Our terms are two x, right? Two x, two x, and the second one is minus y, minus y, and minus y. So how did we know that it is going to be minus y squared and not plus y squared? Because we can see that wherever there is y, there is a minus sign coming along with it, right? And that minus sign is not over here. So, yeah, minus y, and then we have this z, z, and z. So, Mridula, can you tell me what will my final uh, factorization look like? Ma'am, two x plus uh, ma'am two x minus y hmm. plus z whole square. Very good. Yes. Okay. 
uh, or yeah, if you want, you can just um, refer to this. Uh, I'm thinking of introducing just two more identities in today's class, and then I'll give you a lot of questions to practice. Okay, so we'll introduce two more identities in this class. So one is x plus y whole cube. And don't get worried. It is not difficult. It is very easy to remember. What is x plus y whole cube? Basically, x plus y multiplied by itself three times. Right. And I want both of you to try to expand this by yourself. So what will you do? What will you do? You will first multiply these two, leave the third factor, leave the third bracket, multiply these two. And then whatever comes out, you multiply that with this. And then you will tell me what it is, uh, what the expansion is coming out to be. Yeah. Ma'am, x square plus 2xy plus y square? Yes. Ma'am, multiplied by x plus y. Right. Then, now we multiply each of these terms with x plus y. So, let's do that. So, x with x is x squared. Then, 2xy with x is 2x square y. Then y squared with x is xy squared. Okay. Next, we're going to do it with the second term, which is y. So now I have x squared y plus this one is 2xy squared. 2xy squared. Then this thing multiplied with this. So y cubed. Okay, this is the expansion. Now what you can do is, can you see that there is something uh, like, are there any like terms over here? You know what are like terms, right? Like if I say 2x cube and if I say 6x cube, then these two are like terms. If I say 2xy and 3xy, so these two are like terms. So, can we find any like terms here? Ma'am, x square and x square. X square. Oh, I'm sorry. Just a second. Uh, huge mistake. It was supposed to be x cube. And you guys didn't even correct me. X cube. Okay. Yeah. What are the like terms over here? Yes. Hamna, do we have any like terms over here? Did you understand the question? Hamna, can you uh, answer? Did you understand the question? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Ma'am, so ma 2x square y and x square y. Yeah. So 2x square y and x square y. Now, Hamna, you will tell me the other set of like pairs. Sorry. Yeah, like terms. Okay, Mridula, while Hamna is thinking, Mridula, can you tell me what is 2x square y plus x square y? I'm 3x square y. Yes, 3x square y. Hmm. Hamna, we are waiting for you. 2xy square and xy square. Very good. Okay. So, these two add up and we, what do we get, Hamna? Ma'am, 3xy square. Very good. And we are now left with y cube. So now what we can do is we can just say x cube, sorry, yeah, x cube plus, and now I can take, what can I take common from these two terms? Can uh, I take anything common? Uh, Ma'am, yes? there's a mistake here. Ma'am, 3xy oh, Yes, right. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Allah. 
Hmm. Can I take anything common? Ma'am, three. Okay, three. I can take common. Can I take anything else as common? Ma'am, three x y. Very good. Three x y. So now, what do I have remaining? Ma'am, x, Ma x plus y. Very good. X plus y, and this one is as it is y cube. So this is our expansion of x plus y whole cube. Okay. So in just a sec. um i hope you have noted this down if you yeah so next we have something that is very similar to this which is x minus y whole cube okay so what is x plus y whole cube say it uh, slowly i mean say it aloud but like if you want you can unmute yourself but you need to say it so that you can remember it and so that you can you know um your your ears can hear it and so you can remember it for a longer time so x plus y whole cube say it x plus y whole cube is equal to x cube plus 3xy into x plus y plus y cube x cube plus 3xy into x plus y plus y cube so what happens when you learn it when you memorize it is when you need it you will quickly be able to you know tell it without thinking and without calculating the whole thing so x minus y whole cube is very simple you just wherever you find a y right wherever you are finding a y replace it with negative why right? because over here we have minus y and we don't have any like everywhere we have a single y so when you replace this with a minus y this sign over here becomes minus this over here becomes minus right and so on so let me just write it x cube oops x cube minus 3xy into x minus y minus y cube Okay, so let me know when you've noted these so that we can move forward. I'm done. Done, ma'am. Done. Okay. So let's do another one. Uh, let's let's do a few questions on these. Um, five p minus three q whole cubed. So take this as x, take this as y, and I'll move forward. Ma'am, my answer is one twenty-five yes. p cube minus twenty-seven okay. cube cube okay. minus two twenty-five p square cube. Okay. Plus one thirty-five uh, okay. p cube okay. square. So you are uh, expanding this whole thing, right? Okay. Um. All right. Two twenty-five p. Square Q plus what did you say? One thirty five P Q square. One thirty five P Q squared. Okay. What about you, Mridula? Um. One twenty five P Q minus two twenty five P P squared U minus one thirty five P Q square. And just minus. a minute, just a minute. Can you repeat? Can you repeat from the beginning, Ridula? Ma'am, ma'am, one twenty-five p cube minus two twenty-five p square cube 
minus 135 pq square just a minute so mridula uh, it's not going to be minus you know why because here we have minus sign and here also we have a minus sign so minus multiplied by minus becomes plus right so you are right about 135 pq square and next ma'am minus 27 qq minus 27 qq okay so it's the same thing very good all right um let's do one more let's do okay solve 999 whole cubed without solving it uh, without calculating it. how should we do it ma'am we can write 999 as 1000 minus 1 right 1000 minus 1 whole cube okay so now quickly apply the identity what will it be who will tell me what should i write now ma'am 1000 whole cube okay ma'am um, 1000 whole cube minus 3 multiplied by 1000 multiplied by 1 hmm Ma'am, this whole is multiplied by thousand, thousand hmm. minus one. Hmm. Okay. Ma'am, minus one whole cube. Okay. So now I'm gonna write it like this. So, so there are three zeros, and you are multiplying them three times. So I'm gonna have nine zeros. Am I right? Yes, ma'am. How have I written too many zeros? I don't know why, but I feel like I've written too many zeros. Hamna, did you solve it? Yes, ma'am. Okay, what did you get? Ma'am, it's a very big number. Nine nine seven zero zero two nine nine nine. Okay. Just a minute. Uh, what did you say? Nine nine seven zero zero two nine nine nine. Zero to zero two nine nine. So it's twice or thrice. One one more nine. Okay. Looks like someone's phone number. Um. So. Seven zero zero two nine nine. Okay. So I hope you can do this calculation and then you'll get this. Let's do one more before ending the class. um yeah okay so let's do 104 whole cube and i hope this is going to be easier because it's a 100 instead of 1000 yeah one zero four whole cube hamna can you tell me what i should write now Can I write it as one hundred plus four whole cube? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. One so hundred cube plus um three into one hundred into four into one hundred plus four plus four cube. And what is four cube? Sixty four. Zero four and two. Wait, one sec. Have I written it right? Yeah. Ma'am, the final answer is one one two four eight six four.
Okay, very good. Yes, that's right. Rithula, did you get it? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so I'll be sending you guys some questions to solve and we will discuss them in the next class. Any doubts? No, ma'am, no doubts. Okay. Ma'am, I have a doubt. Actually, it's yes. from the previous chapter number systems. Okay. Ma'am, there was a question. If root 2 is equal to 1.4142 dot dot dot, okay. then what will be the value of? Of? I couldn't hear you. What did you say? Ma'am, root. Ma'am, that's a big root. And inside that, it's like root 2 minus 1 divided by root 2 plus 1. It's a good question. Okay. Uh, is this the question? No, I'm it's divided. Uh, okay, one sec. So root two minus one divided by root two plus one. Yes, ma'am. Okay, just a minute. So it's root two minus one divided by root two plus one. Just a minute. Um, okay. Yeah, so we have to end the class. Okay, so root two minus one divided by root two plus one. Now, do you guys remember what I, uh, like what we discussed about rationalizing the denominator? Ma'am, we changed the sign of the denominator while multiplying uh, by the numerator yes. in the board. Yes. Hamna, do you remember this? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this and multiply it with the same thing above and below so that it's not going to make any difference on the overall value of our um, fraction. So this we have, what should I multiply the numerator and denominator with? And root 2 minus 1. Yes, root 2 minus 1. So root 2 minus 1 and root 2 minus 1. So now this becomes, I have this whole root over here. I think I made a pretty huge root. Um, let's just save some space. Okay, so what does the numerator become, Hamna? Hamna? Hamna, can you hear me? So the numerator becomes root 2 minus 1 whole squared, right? Root 2 minus 1 whole squared. And the denominator, now Hamna, can you tell me what does the denominator become? Can you see uh, an identity one we discussed today? Root 2 plus 1, root 2 minus 1. Rudula? Mam root two whole mam root two square minus one square. Yes. Hamna, is it clear? Still here? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So then we move forward. What we do is I'm gonna write this this as it is. Okay. Root two or or what I can do is let me just make it simpler, okay. So I'm going to separate the roots. See, if I write something as root A by B, this is the same thing as root A divided by root B, right? So I'm going to write, I'm going to just separate the roots and the numerator becomes root 2 minus 1 whole squared. And my denominator, it becomes under root, root 2 squared minus 1 squared. Okay. Now, can I, can I cancel this root? Uh, I'm sorry, this square with this root. Can I, Hamna? Yes or no, or I don't know anything. I just, um, if you can just respond. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, so we can cancel them out. How about, can we cancel this, this square with this root? Can I do this? Yes, 
Yeah. So my what does the numerator become? Who will tell me? Um, root two minus one. Root two minus one, right? Root two minus one. And the denominator? Um, root two, mum, root, mum, root two minus one. Of two minus one. And what is two minus one? Mum one. One. So just a second. So this becomes root of. Just a minute. It's getting a little confused here. Yeah. So this is root two minus one. My numerator and my denominator is. Under root of two minus one, which is one, and root one is one itself. So this is equal to root two minus one. You can leave the answer as it is, or what you can do is you can just, um, you know, use the value that they have get given. So this will become our root two minus one will become one point four one four two dot 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 minus one. So this becomes what does it become now, Hamna? Zero point four one four two one. Yes. Dot dot dot. Yes. Dot dot dot. So this is your answer. Is it okay? Yes, ma'am. I got the same answer, but I was not sure about it. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome.